Centennial Ground, Station 756, Mike Yankee, uh, need a southwest departure, information Romeo Road complete. Station 756, Mike Yankee, still ground, uh, runway 17 left, taxi via Alpha. 17 left via Alpha, 6 Mike Yankee. Okay, here we are all set, taxiing out to 17 left, hopefully going to launch and go to Salida today. So welcome aboard. I'm Evan Anderman, a geologist, photographer, and pilot based in Denver, Colorado. Come with me as I discover new ways to look at the environment. Go on east, six mic engine, thank you. Now the only problem is that there is low level wind shear, which is um, not always a concern, but I just talked to a pilot who landed, he said like a thousand feet, it's a 40 knot wind. So we'll see what the turbulence is doing also. Okay, we got the flight plan in here. I think what I'll do is turn on the turbulence layer. So that color means it's like moderate turbulence, as you can see. It could be interesting. Let's uh, put it that way. That's at 11,000. Come down a little thousand. We'll have to go through these altitudes to get up there. So this is the flight plan. I put on an approach plate here, which is the RNAV Alpha uh, approach into Salida. I just thought it would be interesting to take that route just to see what it looks like. Not that I'm going to do the approach because I'm here alone, but I just thought it would be fun to fly that route. We'll just have to see what the what the turbulence allows us. Could be another exercise in futility. Fisher, 756 Mike Yankee, Centennial Tower, runway 17 left, line up and wait. Line up wait, 17 left, 6 Mike Yankee. Okay, flaps, mixture, lights. Fisher, 6 Mike Yankee, fly straight out for now, runway 17 left, good takeoff, 110 at 7, death 14. Cleared off one seven left and straight out six mic. Get the turbo going. Here we go. Pretty good climb rate up to uh, four hundred feet. Level off. Lose the flap. Bring the power back. A few bumps here. Six mic kinky, right turn on course group. Right turn on course proof, six point you. Thank you. Well, not terrible so far, but it says 30 knot wind out of uh, 190. Anyway, you can see the wind here is 33 knots out of 200, and we're headed to 17 right now. But some clouds up there, not sure what those mean. Could be a little bumpy back here. Might have to uh, abort this yet again. Oh yeah, there's a little turbulence. I don't know if you remember my uh, my personal minimums, but it's wise not to go into the mountain. If the winds at 12,000 feet are above 30 knots, well, here we are at 9,500 feet, and they're over 30 knots. So this will scrub the Salida yet again, but I guess it's good for you to see that sometimes things just don't work out. And so today is one of those days. One of these days, I'm gonna make it to Salida and descend on out of this move away from the mountains. I'm just gonna head out east and uh, look around out there. I guess I could head out to Lyman uh, a little smoother as I go east, so it looks like I made the right choice. Stay away from the mountain. At Lyman, the wind's out of the south at five knots. So, but you know me, I'm gonna wanna do an approach out there. So let me go to the plates. I have KLIC, wind was out of the south, so I guess I'll do the RNAV. Runway 16 on the Garmin. I'm gonna go back. Procedure approach. Approach RNAV 16 and enter at Feather. Fly course reversal at Feather. Activate approach. So um, that actually takes us in a slightly different direction. And I guess maybe I can uh, show you on the map here. We're going to go direct to KLIC. It would have looked like that. But then if I go in, oh, and go in, if I go into the flight plan and add procedure, approach. All right, at 16, other add route. So, did you see how that changed our heading? Instead of going straight to, like, where it says runway 16 here, we have to go to. Uh, north of that to better. Okay, the other thing it says I could be at 7,500 feet, but it says 12 minutes to better. Better's an initial approach fix, initial fix, and um, 
but you can't turn into the airport there. You have to do a turn around the hold. And as you can see, the hold has seven nautical mile legs. And um, that just takes a while. So I'm actually going to abbreviate that. You need to do a course reversal before you can turn in. But I'm going to cross feather and go out like at a 45 degree angle for a minute and then turn back in towards the uh, final approach course. Once I cross feather, I can descend to 7,400 feet. And then at LW LAM, that is where I can intercept the glide slope and start the descent to that. That's for the LPV uh, precision approach. I was just doing an LNAV nav approach. Then at LW LAM, I could descend to 7,000 feet. And then I guess at DBLAA, I could go on down. The minimum for the LNAV is 60, 80. Oh, cruising right along, 139 knots. Well, when in doubt, do the practice approach, right? The AWOT again. Lyman Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. Two one two two Zulu, wind one three zero at zero seven. And the uh, CTAF common traffic air frequency is one twenty two point eight. As you can see in this view, I can see the traffic on here. So I'm going through my Astic MMNL. So approach source tune ID course minimum missed approach. So the approach. RNAV GPS runway 16 at Lyman, and it's all tuned and um, identified. The final approach course is 163, the minimum. Hit the LPV, which we'll have to verify when we get on the approach. We can go down to 5624. The missed approach is to climb straight ahead to 7,500 feet and go direct to Ray Ray, and then you hold at Ray Ray. And it says, oh, yep, seven nautical mile leg. And the notes are uncompensated Barrow V nav system. And the lighting is the last thing, which will be on the map down here. Those are Pappy and medium intensity runway lights. Now, a couple of months ago, I did approaches here. You know, you don't need to land to do your practice approaches. So we did six, you know, one to the north. And then we went over and did one to the south, north, south, north. So we did six of them. Yeah, I see Lyman right over there now. Getting close to feather, 32 seconds, it says. This says hold, direct. Okay, and turn in seven, six, five, four, three. So I was heading zero, seven, seven. So going to zero, three, two, that's 45 degrees off. Start my timer, so when I Turn back, I'll come back to 163 heading. Yeah, we'll see how this works. The wind might be pushing us off to the east. So I'll come back to like a 45 and I'll wait until the needle starts coming in at the closure angle so the needle's coming in slowly. And I have it on track mode so I can just turn. And it's supposed to take care of the wind correction angle for that. Okay, and now I can go down to 7400. And now it says uh, GPS LPV. Oh, I see the runway out there, but we're turned off to the right. Okay, it says two and a half minutes to that. Um, where the Maltese cross is is the final approach fix, LW lamp. At that point, I want to be slowed down and my flaps out. So 85 knots, trying to be at the approach speed. So I slowly pull the power out just to cool off the turbo slowly. Light crosswind. It says 24 knots out of 200. We're headed like 17, so 30 knot crosswind. Pulling a little more power back. Got to stay above these windmills, I guess, is why they keep us here. Tell LW Lamb. Okay, 30 seconds. Get my first notch of flaps here. Slow it down. I can see the runway in front of us. Okay, turn off the assist, got 20 seconds, and then I can start following guidance. There we go. Now we can go down to 56.24. Going a little fast, pulling that power back. 
Lineman Traffic Station 756, Mike Yankee, five miles to the north, inbound to do a full stop on 16 at Lineman. Now I'm trying to watch, let me turn this out of the way, but like diamond shaped thing, because that is the like wind correction angle. I to practice these things. I guess the wind is uh, dropping down, actually. Don't need quite that correction, do I? That's interesting. Okay, 6280 for 5624. Going down to 5624. There's 500 feet. Mixture, propeller. Lyman traffic, six mile can't key, short final, full stop, one six. Lyman, almost to the minimums right there. I got the runway in sight. Here. Lyman traffic six mic eight key is clear of the active. Lyman. Yeah, always fun to do an approach. Little uh, little crosswind. Good exercise to do. So well yet again didn't make it to Salida. One of these days we'll make it. But hope you enjoyed the alternative. Come out here and do an approach at Lyman. And um Always good practice with the crosswind, always good thing to do. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, catch you on the next flight.